Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Bill Clinton says hashtag #he too claims he was victim of the White House after what happened to him. Former President of the United States Bill Clinton is once again speaking on his infamous affair with Monica Lewinsky during his time in the White House. As usual, instead of taking ownership of his actions, Clinton insists he owes no apologies, least of all any sort of personal apology to Monica herself for his part in turning her life upside down. Clinton has a book coming out but when he sits down for an interview, the Monica Lewinsky scandal keeps appearing. In the tense exchange, when asked if he had apologized to Lewinsky, he initially said yes and quickly said no and that he did not owe her an apology. Now that is arrogance. Lewinsky was a former White House intern whose entire adult life has been defined by an inappropriate extramarital affair, the intense media fallout, and global scrutiny that followed, along with the public's continued fascination with that period of her life even some 20 years later. Yet Clinton acknowledges under no ownership of his part in that, insisting instead that he is the victim instead. He told NBC in an interview on The Today Show, No, I do not, I have never talked to her. But I did say publicly on more than one occasion that I was sorry. I apologize to everybody in the world. His words imply that he believes that enough is enough and he has apologized all he intends to. As the Daily Mail notes, the former president is more famous for his Don Juan-like seductions than for his policy legacy, portrayed himself, not Lewinsky, as history's victim in the mass media's retelling of the 1990s saga. A lot of the facts have been omitted to make the story work, he declared, I think partly because they're frustrated that they got all these serious allegations against the current occupant of the Oval Office and his voters don't seem to care. And Clinton complained in the interview that he left the presidency financially ruined because of the costs associated with the legal consequences of his actions. Nobody believes that I got out of that for free, he said. I left the White House $16 million in debt. He's worth about $80 million today aided by an aggressive schedule of speaking events, many of which paid him six-figure fees for individual appearances. Many Americans contend that Clinton was a whopping $16 million in debt because he was a grown man, an adult, 50-something man in a powerful position who used his position of authority as the President of the United States of America to seduce a 21-year-old unpaid intern in the Oval Office. Did he truly believe that having assex with an immature, starstruck, Giddy girl younger than his daughter was acceptable behavior during work hours in a room that should be revered and respected for the role it has played in world history? Yet, it appears that is exactly what he believes. Lewinsky herself penned an essay in March for Vanity Fair magazine stating, What transpired between Bill Clinton and myself was not sexual assault, although we now recognize that it constituted a gross abuse of power. Decades later Lewinsky is still suffering from the aftermath of being publicly humiliated by Hillary Clinton and the aftermath of being identified globally as the woman the President of the United States kept on the side and used for his own pleasure just a few feet from the Oval Office. Lewinsky wrote of the public humiliation she continues to deal with, stating, I'm sorry to say I don't have a definitive answer yet on the meaning of all of the events that led to the 1998 investigation. I am unpacking and reprocessing what happened to me. Over and over and over again. The Daily Mail notes Clinton continues to live the high life with no ramifications for his actions, reporting how Clinton is launching a book tour to promote The President is Missing, a fictional political thriller co-written with the famed author James Patterson. He accused interviewed Craig Melvin of ignoring, gaping facts in describing this, and I bet you don't know you don't know them. This was litigated 20 years ago. Two-thirds of the American people sided with me. If he were president today, he said later, his most famous extramarital affair wouldn't be an issue, because people would be using the facts instead of the imagined facts. Patterson, too, defended Clinton, by comparing his sexual affairs in office with those of two preceding Democratic presidents. It's 20 years ago, come on. He blasted Melvin. Let's talk about JFK let's talk about, you know, LBJ. Stop already. Clinton piled on. You think President Kennedy should have resigned? Do you believe President Johnson should have resigned? Someone should ask you these questions because of the way you formulate the questions," he jabbed. I dealt with it 20 years ago, plus. Suddenly philosophical and seeming to take a longer view of history, Clinton said, I have tried to do a good job since then with my life and with my work. That's all I have to say to you. Perhaps someone should remind Bill Clinton that his sins helped lead us down this slippery slope all of those years afterward. Accountability does not seem to be a virtue Bill possesses, and he was clearly none too happy to be sticking on the Lewinsky subject so long when he was probably there to speak on his book. 
I know many Americans are saying let's just forget the Clintons or stop bringing them up but they clearly do not know how to leave the stage. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.